Welcome back, folks, to Tales of Symphonia. Last time, we got our flying motorcycles of yore. Also, there's all sorts of subterfuge and foreshadowing going on. Our, our, our friend Zello is disappearing from the party from a time and maybe talking to other people. But either way, we reunite with the Renegades. Why did Parthia die? She's in heaven. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we have our sweet bikes again, and uh, we can try to actually get Colette, or we can explore. There's a castle in, this, in the clouds. I figured it was like Mexican Santa Claus. <laughs> Is that how it works? Living, <laughs> living in a castle in the North Pole. That's you know, like in that Mexican Santa Claus movie. Common and silly is what I call it. Those renegades, they're called right. They have quite impressive technology. Their bases and stuff were incredible. Considering the level of technology those guys have, this Crucius that you fight must have been even greater. Yeah, we have to be prepared. But we have something that they do not. A heart? What do, what do we have? Part of the cards. Love and courage. <laughs> Regal wouldn't be thinking of something as common and silly like that. Common and silly, hmm. <laughs> Looks wistfully off in the distance. That was what I was going to say. Now I will not say it. Now that it is common and silly. It was heart. And also heart of the cards, maybe. Oh, now so, the... Um, hmm? Go ahead, sorry. I was going to say, now the world is our oyster. It's like, where do we go? Let's try that top left corner of the map. I think there are some islands we can land on. Just know that uh, their base of those renegades is incredible. And now all their base are belong to us. So, I mean, we were able to just go right back in there without an issue. So... Well, I, and, and I know you're not a completionist about getting every treasure chest, but I, I appreciate the idea that if I, you know, it's like, oh, there was a whole 800 step puzzle of, uh, you know, getting to stuff. And, we, and there was one place we never got to. Apparently, you could go back and do it, which is nice. Yeah, if you wanted to. Oh, we have Without a... Without bribing those fucking cats or whatever the, whatever the hell it is you're supposed to do to get uh, loot you missed. Well, maybe we already got that one. The way you can stray from this thing is really, really off-putting. Although it's really nice compared to the boats. I was uh, reliving the horror of that from last session. Nightmare that is the boats. Well, I, what I'm really impressed is like, the, you know, Blue Angels, fuck you guys. These, the formation flying these guys can do, it's really impressive. So this is the resort we couldn't get onto before because we didn't have a government certified dock. Also, there's a thing over here. There's a government certified character progression here. Say, is it difficult to balance between with your hands bound together? So unlink them. It was difficult at first. I fell on numerous occasions. Well, <laughs> nerd, that's hard to imagine. Oof, 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 oof. It's hard to imagine. I, I can't see you falling. You're so like agile and whatnot. Really, but it all comes down to getting used to it and training your lower body. Oh. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, Clutch's like, oh, are you seeing anyone right now? Even if you have a sense of balance, it is useless if your muscles are unable to react. Huh. Well, that's why you're so fucking buff, I guess. No wonder. Uh, I wonder if I get more muscles if I train a lot. Then would you like to do some early morning training with me? Yugi boy? <laughs> yes. I mean, what time should I wake up? Usually a little after four. <laughs> well, you can forget that whole thing then. This, his character. So what I'm doing with his voice is this terrible impression I do of pro wrestler uh, Stephen slash William Regal. But now after after he uh, clearly came on to our hero, I, I want to make a Maximilian Pegasus. Of course. <laughs> I want him to have a Millennium Eye. <laughs> I'm in charge of cooking today, so look forward to it. Say, hey, what do you want to eat? Uh, aren't these the same answer? What? Yeah, what's the fucking difference? Anything. Which one of these is Renegade and which one's Paragon? Anything's fine if you make it there, Genus. Come on, that's not fun. I would choose something, but the government said no. But I like everything you make. Really? Foo, foo, foo. Yeah, you're a really good cook. Well, yeah, I do most of the chores around the house, because otherwise my sister would be doing it and bore Then when do you study? At school. 
No way. Then your grades should be the same as mine. Eh, you don't study even when you're at school. You're only awake during lunch and PE. I'm also awake during art. Is that something to be proud of? You'd do a lot better than just paying attention to class. Bah, <laughs> studying is for chumps and mighty Washingtons. I was, try I was definitely trying to, what is he like, uh, like powerful Lincoln? What the fuck was his name? <laughs> powerful uh Lincoln. <laughs> What's the point of school anyway? I mean, do I really need to know math? Of course, you use it every day. Do yeah, I? You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta count how to stretch those uh, minimum wage checks you're making. Flipping uh, roast beef sandwiches at Arby's. I mean, I make uh, I make those key crests, or at least I bootleg them. That's good money. I don't need to worry about that. All right, let's see what's in here. This could be a super boss, so let's go ahead and throw down a save ball, just in case. Whoa, is that is that coming from anywhere other than Altamira? That's gotta be a plot place, right? It's not some super boss cave. Well, this is the Maybe. resort that we were told about before. Oh, okay. Our friend Zealous wanted to go here, because of course, all the women folk. Uh. I'm sorry, but I'm going to wait here. Okay. Women really aren't my type. Dots. Won't say why, huh? You don't want to talk about it? That's your business. Lloyd, let him do what he wants. All right. Ask, don't tell. Catch you on the way out. Yeah, just watch the reards. We already lost those ones. The water flowing in my left ear. Oh my so goodness! You, you hang out here with Riku while we go visit the um, Guado Salam or what, what the fuck ever. Never. <laughs> Hello, me beloved. Please enjoy yourself. Ooh. Welcome to Altamira, the seaside paradise. All right. I can't remember it because as big a nerd as I am, I'm not that big a nerd. But this is, there's like a, there's a recurring planet in like Star Trek, which is like the resort planet where it's just like hot women who want to bone you as soon as you get off the uh, transporter pad. And that is what I'm thinking of right now. Let him think that. Welcome, are you one of the guests staying at this hotel? A mysterious flying object? That flew eastward? Question mark? The only thing east of here is the ocean. Have you tried searching the water? Well, that's good. I like how we just came here on a lark and we're actually getting, you know, tips. No, I. this has to be part of the story, right? Like, I don't know. It's one of the few places we can land and we couldn't land before, so I'm guessing the designers thought that our natural curiosity would lead us here, which it has. Hi, I think you we haven't hit whatever somebody was going to say, oh, you need to go to Ryza slash Altamira. It's Ryza is the Star Trek world, I just remembered. Ah, very good. Hi, it's Shalming. I'm like four. I mean, ah, I'm being spoken to. My tanning paid off. I was going to say, if you're only four, you're growing up fast, I've got to say. Yeah, you know, okay, now that... Oh, <laughs> Reset! <Jesus Christ. laughs> I wonder if I've over a bit. Do you like bronzed skin? Doesn't make you look bronzed at all. Do you, have you ever seen bronze? Well, yeah, Charming, I use this line a lot. Hey, hey, you've just come to the sea and you're already trying to pick up girls. Here's a dark bottle for your trouble. Thanks for making me feel pretty. Up ahead is the beach. The beach here is wonderful. You should go check it out. By the way, aren't you hot in that outfit? No, I'll hide my shoulders, you know, exposed. That's how I get rid of all my heat. I gotta say, you look pretty hot to me, but boom boom. <laughs> I'll name adult? Oh, oh no. No, Colette. So Missing you again. It was safe to not have Colette in the party. I would whine too. Hey, yeah, charming. See, I used it again. Now, now, don't hit on the employee's heart. Get a life bottle. Altamira is divided into several areas. To get to each one, use the elemental railway located to the left. The elemental railway? What, a flying monster? Hmm, I don't know if it was a monster or not. But I did hear a rumor that something flew towards the eastern sea. Alright, good. Continued hints. 
Now all this city looks like it has no problems, but there was an incident eight years ago, <laughs> looks at, at the camera, in which several people lost their lives. I think someone was trying to do a contract with Volt. Jeez. The big stone beside the hotel, uh, towards the back, is a monument to that incident. <laughs> it features a depiction of, <laughs> of her trying to summon or contract Volt. I miss Johnny, even though I've never been here before. You are here too, sir? She just gives us money. Here's what I owe you. <laughs> I'm having such a pleasant time. I feel like I've really gotten my money's worth. I want to stay here forever. I don't want to go home anymore. Mm hmm. This guy is a man. I thought it might be. Yeah, so uh, it's just what I expect from a place called Seaside Paradise. A Seaside Paradise. It's my first time here and I really like it. I've, all, I've really come to like this Ultimira. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. You, you, John? That's right. All right, so you're going to ask us to go places. Yeah, they have like a uh, little ferry line down there. Please remember, you are parked in the Lion King a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. Below is the Elemental Railway boarding the platform, a boarding platform. If you would like to use the Elemental Railway, please head to the boarding platform below. So apparently the person who just bypasses is not the person after all. Alright, well we're not going to waste time with those people. What's over here? Here's the rock. <laughs> so, um... It's got the people's it, it, it okay on there. Ask you what your name is. Uh-huh. Well, and I... uh, you know, if you were to attempt to answer, it would cut you off. So don't even, don't even fall for that <laughs> oh, trick okay. of the rocks. <laughs> Uh, that might become important later. We have a save point here. Also, that thing is emitting things for reasons unknown. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it's for the best. This is the uh, magical blue soul testicle monument here. Welcome to the Hotel Lazarino. I say you got a testicle monument, eh? It is 400 gold a night. Would you like a room? You'll still have 46 gold left over from what that one lady gave you. We look forward to the opportunity. Whatever, whatever. Look at this gentleman. <laughs> this hotel is just as splendid as I had heard. This will be the perfect spot for me to ask her to marry me. Very good. But uh, I must tell you, I am not left-handed. We'll go up there in just a moment. Who else is on this floor? This portly gentleman. Welcome. This hotel features rooms on the fourth and fifth floors with panoramic views of the ocean. In addition, we have a host of other services, such as the exciting shopping area on the second floor and a restaurant with a breathtaking view on the third floor. Please enjoy your stay. Okay. I'm having an elaborate series of heart attacks as I try to get through this dialogue. <laughs> an elaborate series? Ooh, elaborate. What? <laughs> You're gonna hurt Welcome yourself to the over there. Floor. Hello! Oh, actually, this is him. Hello, Marquis Princess. You appear to be, like, three inches tall. Oh, you last? Hey, you've got to be joking. <laughs> She's... Wait, wait, here's, a, here's a lemon, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing here but expensive stuff that we can't buy. No matter how many lemons we give them, they won't give us the items. There's a real sense of quality about the goods they carry. And the atmosphere is nice. It feels very mature. Mm-hmm. Mom and Dad won't get out of bed, so we're exploring the building. The tragic story of the two kids whose parents died at the hotel. <laughs> they won't get up. We've asked them. We jumped on the bed. They are so tired. We don't... It's so funny. <laughs> we're not going to go ahead and interact with you. You are an armor person. Ace is high. Person. Well, she had a shield on her side. <laughs> it's like an ethnic group in this planet. <laughs> hey, you gotta, you know, show respect to the armored people. They, their culture is valid. Humans, elves, half elves, armor people. Also, those cats, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, those guys. Fuck those guys. But the armor people, they deserve our respect. Do you even need that, Zelos? I'm not gonna get you it. Yeah, Mithril guard is like crazy expensive. Mithril shield. You can have gauntlets. You, I guess I'll have a couple of gauntlets. They're cheap. 
Mithril bra bracelets. We'll get those for you two. We'll have our apparent half elves back in the party. Magic mist. A crystal with soaked, uh, smoke rather sealed inside. It, it increases getaway speed, so you can actually run away. Okay. A pair of boots that make the wearer very heavy. Increase resistance to damage. Thief's cape. More evasion. Could be good. Magic oh. mist. I mean, uh, I'm I'm usually one for fighting everything for the experience, but I mean, it, it might not hurt to have one of those on on hand because every so often you just get really sick of the encounters that you're encountering it is like six thousand galdies let's put it in a bag to remember to equip it too but yeah. we'll, we'll do that now since i'm legendarily fucking stupid let's do it you don't get a new thing actually you do did we buy this last time or do we just find it why are you wearing what you're wearing the witch's robe does that make you oh last year okay that doesn't do anything for you you'll go ahead and get a mesh that's a very big upgrade for you. A cloak made of threads. Process from mithril metal. I was going to say material metal. It's incorrect. Cloak made out of threads. Red cloak. Let's get you a mithril bracelet to go along with it. Mithril. And you can have some mithril. And we'll give you a new glove. It's not really that much better. I will also get a new glove, or will I? Maybe I won't. I mean, it does help my defense, but not that much, and this lets me do more damage. Good news, Zelos. You're getting a new arm. Maybe. So what do Zelos, Michael Jackson, and the Cincinnati Reds have in common? They all wear one glove for no apparent reason. <laughs> Interestingly, his shield is better than a glove. Oh, well. We'll keep that glove for posterity. The, uh, the mist. The mist. Well, we don't need to equip that until there's actually an issue, right? Okay. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. You said something about equipping it now, so. We have a new Whoppet for me. I wish I could... We now also... But we spent m almost all of our money on the armor, so. Yeah. Lunar Ring, which is for a party member who's not with us, but certainly looks interesting. A crescent-shaped weapon cuts through the air like a moonbeam. It's going to be a Colette thing. Mm-hmm. Thunder Scepter, Flame Dagger. Man, you guys got all kinds. Of... The Ice Coffin, which is in fact not a coffin, but a knife. <laughs> is a sword it made... It is not an ice. It is not a coffin. Discuss. <laughs> we also have some Bear Claws. These are not, in fact, delicious pastries. And the Ghost Claw. A weapon cursed by evil fucking spirits. Hey, Regal, we bought you something while we were in town. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, well, you know, you, you didn't want to come in, but you figured, how could you resist these these cute little evil spirits? <laughs> I guess we'll just hold off on weapons for now. Are you the No, you're just the item guy. I was going to say, is there a customization man? Oh, you do have the customizations. So we could make a lunar ring if we had a mithril ring. Uh, we could make this brand if I had some silver and the other stuff. I think I might have the Kotats, but I don't have the other stuff. Yeah, we don't have any of this stuff. This, uh, this customization, not really paying off. Is that a thing? No. Well, and again, it's like, uh, I can, I can force myself to relax, but it's like, we got a lot of shit hanging out of the inventory we're not selling in case we can use it to customize, and it's been like 50 videos since we've customized something. Eh, it's not a big problem. Yeah. No, I mean, we, it, it, yet the sun continues to rise each morning, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So some weird fly by in the eastern sky. I saw it once, but I think it was a dragon. My co-workers don't believe me, so I've been keeping an eye out ever since, but I haven't seen it again. Unfortunate. They still will think you're stupid. I didn't say they thought I was stupid. I... <laughs> they will still think you are stupid. I put my hand on your shoulder. I missed it, honey, by the way. Yes, are you ready to order? <laughs> One apple gel, please. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome to Apple Joe. There's nothing better than enjoying a relaxing meal while gazing out over the ocean. It's a pretty nice... I make my guests feel comfortable by attempting to speak as they do. It's a pretty nice restaurant we got around here. The Lorenzo, or Lazare Reno Company, is quite a company. I'd never have been able to conceive of converting an entire, an entire city into a resort. It's because the first thing I always think about is the cost. 
He's very frugal. It's all, it's all the mafia controlled around here. <laughs> oh, isn't it a nice day? Uh, hello. We seal her medicine. <laughs> the city has grown so much over the years. It was when we were about your age that this city began its transformation into a resort. Eek. There are so many dead bodies if anyone ever drained that reservoir. <laughs> oh, on that thought, how hello there, me beloved. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, she's so delightfully British. Food here is simply marvelous, aren't huh? Oh, I suppose I should expect no less from a restaurant Roman to be where the Wonder Chef dines. Is that some sort of uh, hint? Is he around yeah, here? If he's, not, if he's not around here, they're fucking with us now. This chair is out of place. It's a different color, but it's not the one. Your chef. Good. <laughs> I just alley ooped that thing to you, didn't I? You, sir. It's a nice place, but it doesn't really suit me. No one else is wearing a hat like mine. I prefer those w eyes wide shut type of places, you know? Mm hmm. Even if the food is good, if the atmosphere doesn't fit you, it's not enjoyable, you know? I know. Went to a place that served kebabs once. It was just too formal for me. I didn't care for it. All right, we've already talked to you. How do I escape? Oh, uh, goodness. Oh. I'd like a room, please check it out. Can I go to the fifth floor? Okay, I'll uh -huh. just leave. Uh -huh. <laughs> Elevator stop. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> like, who's saying that line? Is it the elevator? I wonder if that uh, testicle monument in the background was the Wonder Chef. The Wonder Testicle. I don't, I don't think it was. I do not believe you could get to a place where you could interact with it. Well, now I'm going to try. This is your punishment. <laughs> and everyone else's. No, I can't get in there. I am duly punished. I will never forget what I did wrong. How the hell do you even get in there? Did you just crawl over the counter? She does. All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's go over here. We'll Actually, around her, you see, she lives in there. I was going to say, I didn't see oh, you Oh, there's a little hidden, a hidden people. There's a <laughs> oh, hidden guy. Oh, it's a little hidden people. Little hidden people. There's a little hidden greenhouse person there. I can't... <laughs> greenhouse person. <laughs> She's just grown to the largest of sizes, don't you know? Oh, uh, shit. Like the Lilliputians, but macro-sized. I've missed you, honey, since you're in the dressing room. Hey, hey this is why I love the beach. <laughs> wonder where the changing room is. I can't wait to dive into the sea. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> You're literally walking into it. <laughs> Whatever. Well, they're charming. I really like you. want your one-piece leotard thing you got going on there. No, no, please. How about a drink? Oh. Would you like something to eat? Beautiful atmosphere will make any food taste delicious. Indeed. Nope. I know it's part of the job, but it's hot in this outfit. It is? Is this what they make you wear and this is what they make the ladies wear or what? Yeah, look, I think I should be less happy than he is. Yes, my apologies. What would you like? You don't even look like you work here. I'll miss you, honey. And your ponytail. The sea lowers people's inhibitions. Heart. <laughs> Could I have some grape juice? Do I look like I work here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a Tokyo for the latest. Look at the camera. Do I look like I fucking work here? <laughs> Are you going to crush that watermelon? Hmm? Oh, it's Gallagher. <laughs> it's Gallagher. A trip to the beach isn't complete without a watermelon split. But I don't have anyone to do it with me, so I'm actually not doing it. <laughs> okay, I mean... I come to the beach to feel even sadder about my loneliness. <laughs> I mean, I could wash you if it makes you feel any better. Blue water, white sand. It's so picture squeak. I just love the ocean. I'll take Alamira over Flanor any day. 
I don't even know what this vanilla place is, although I should. Well, it's right behind the changing room there. Yeah, all right. Well, we've yeah, seen the, every... Another one was like, the changing room? Where? I guess we'll talk to you. Let's see. The Elemental Railway only goes to the amusement park and the Lezzarino Company during the day. Uh-huh. Okay. Boop. Do you even have to do anything with that? Hey, how are you, honey? Oh, no. I wasn't. There is already someone in my heart. Well, that's going to be terminal. No money. <laughs> <laughs> is this your first time in Altamira? The city was developed into a resort by the Lazareno Company. The Lazareno Company's main office is here in this city. Go take a look if you're interested. Okay. Just stop tempting me. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> Flips here. Off of those shoulders, they're driving me wild. <laughs> the elemental railway will now depart. It's a railway in the sense of no sense at all. Let's go to the amusement park first. Yeah, we oh, got. Oh, never mind. There are little rails there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like the uh, Disney Jungle Cruise. It's a train that's made to look like a boot. <laughs> Hi, this is the amusement park. Have a good time. What kind of character are you supposed to be? Listen, pal, this company owns all pop culture. We can do anything we want with it. Okay, well, which pop culture is it? Please be please aware. Be aware. Actually, go yeah, ahead. No, you please continue. No, 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 I exist. <laughs> please be aware that the amusement park is closed at night for liability reasons. There's another character, another Sonic reject here. Dot, dot, dot. It's best not to speak when you're in one of these. Yeah. Wow, there are a bunch of rides. Which one should I try first? The lines aren't too bad around here. Hello, me beloved. Oh, too bad I'm working now. Uh, talk to me when I'm off, okay, heart? A holy bottle. It's been out too long. Are you having a good time? You aren't shy about enjoying yourself at places like this, are you? If you learn to think like a kid again, you can have a good time anywhere. Not the kind of good time I'm looking for, honey. <laughs> Don't be shy. Enjoy yourselves, heart. Okay. Hello, me cute little princess. I can't see you right now. Play with me. <laughs> this is a little fucking girl. Play with me. <laughs> Play with me. Well, uh, this is fun. There's like, there seem to be more mascot characters than there are uh, actual visitors. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how they're making money at this resort. <laughs> spin, spin, spin. How about a spinning on a cup? Just talk to the man the most. Okay, is that it? I don't even know what that is. It's like a popcorn machine or something. Oh, it's wrong. Are you lost? <gasps> man. Oh, man, what to do? Oh. <laughs> All right. Hello, beauty. Oh, I talk just like that guy. Oh, you startled me. Oh, did you mean to say that to me? You have an interesting taste. He, you can hear it on one show. I'm glad the children are having so much fun. Although I'm a little tired. Places like this for children are a bit stressful for adults. Well, then what's with those weirdos who are like adults who insist on going to Disney once a year without their kids? Is this going to be a mini game? It certainly looks like one. And yes, those people are kind of weird. You might get sick if you're allowed to match. But if you do it for four hours without making any mistakes, you will get a slightly better sword than you could get otherwise. <laughs> you must have a free pass to ride. What the fuck? How does this work? Do I need to get Disney backs? If you want the free pass, you have to give me $800. <laughs> I'm frowning at you as deeply as I can. 
<laughs> that little that machine we were trying to figure out what it was may, that looked like an automated machine, but. Uh, Ferris wheel, if you want to ride it, talk to the guy in front of it, and he'll explain why you can't. Okay. I'm so sleepy. I can barely keep awake. Me too, dude. Me too. Alright. Uh, you don't sell tickets. Where does one get the Disney fun bucks in this place? Yeah, or that thing over to the left kind of looks like it's a... Uh... And yet I have faith in your ability to hit the button that would allow you to interact with objects while facing it, and that apparently has not uh, gone anywhere. I have pressed buttons quite a few time in my, times in my day. All right, well, I guess we're done here. Yes, I guess we've got to go back to the entrance. We can't just go to the other place. You know, what kind of a theme park doesn't have a thing that circles around the park? This is the closest thing we got with the Elemental Railway. But next time, we will head to this Lazarino company or whatever it is and see what the hell's going on there. Will there be peril? Pay them a little visit. See how they're doing. And we'll see you then. Bye.